and of course how the Grinch stole Christmas it's all about you're not always in the Christmas mood but it doesn't mean it doesn't come sooner or later hello everybody and welcome back to ages how you wear it don't forget to follow me across all the platforms same thing ages how you wear it i am doing 25 days of outfits on my instagram so make sure you follow that for some outfit inspo what am i doing today well i am doing okay what am i doing oh yeah holiday outfits all right guys so yes i am doing holiday outfits today and first let me start off by saying i am gonna have two videos up before the holiday is over you know i come up here i do videos when i have videos to do i don't have a set time i don't have i tried all that it doesn't work for me so when i have a video you'll see it when i have a short you'll see it but either way i am always going to be here for you at least two or three times a month so let me see what have i been doing what have i been watching you know i like to start off with stuff like that well um you watch all the regular holiday movies the grinch um any holiday movie that you're used to watching um i even watched scrooge the other day and it's just not because i'm in a scrooge mood um scrooge just be funny to me so i like the scrooge um and of course how the grinch stole christmas it's all about you're not always in the christmas mood but it doesn't mean it doesn't come sooner or later um first i'm gonna talk about accessories so you will see two accessories up here uh for these holiday looks so before i bring them out i'm gonna talk about this you know, I still love the belt bag. This one is the first one that I've gotten to me that is elegant. I have no idea who it belongs to, what brand it's from. If you do, well, I'm going to say leave a comment below. Nobody comments. I only have my regulars that comment. But some people like to say what they know. So if you know what bag this is, let me know. So that and i'm wearing these shoes okay i got this from an online vintage thrift for five dollars and this i got this when the hype of feathers was just coming out i just wanted it because i thought it looks very bedroom sexy like i got someone in the bedroom i don't but it's still bedroom sexy so but people are wearing feather shoes in platforms so for five dollars <laughs> a win-win so let's start off first with faux leather and you know i always show you one item out of the out of everything that i'm wearing i show you one item so these faux leather pants high-waisted faux leather wide leg and i got them a little oversized so that you know i feel more comfortable and stuff that's not tight i didn't told y'all this many times I mean, I can dress my size. Some people like, oh, I'm, you know, I look like this and I don't want to look no bigger. I don't care. And I really like the oversized fit of these. And as you see here, I'm styling it with a gold blazer. You know, I got to bring a blazer out. I don't know why y'all playing with me. I have a gold blazer that people say, oh, that looks grandma. Somebody would see that in the thrift store, which is where I got it. I thrifted it. And they would say, oh, that's a grandma blazer. Put that on with these wide leg Zara. Um, I think it's Zara. Yeah, got these from Zara. I'll put the picture up, of course. Um, and Oh, wait, I had another accessory, guys. Sorry about that this accessory here i got this on an online sale as well i can't remember what i paid for it i think it was like 10 8 i don't know very little and i don't know if you can really see it but it's a beaded black uh pouch like bag oh. and you okay so for this one this one i have on the velour set i got a velour 
pants on that I thrifted for I think eight dollars and I paired it with this New York and company um I've had this jacket blazer vest like blazer for a long time and it's like a military so you see the silver buttons and the silver design that made it a military look like the little military jackets, but oh my goodness. That's why I don't get rid of nothing. And I just wore it with a lace black bra, nothing else, letting a little skin show, making me look slimmer. Cause you know, um, I, I'm thinking about doing a video on even if you have a stomach or a fupa that you can wear clothes that show your belly that actually make you look smaller. So this outfit is definitely one that I'm going to show in that video. But you see how it looks so slimming, even though I have a belly. Let me tell you what I'm wearing. So I got on all of my Chanel Isk jewelry, this beautiful uh, choker, and the pearl necklace. And then to make the pearls even more and to pop even more, because I'm just extra today, I have on these earrings that I got from uh, Dillard's. And they are pearl half, I call it half crescent uh, look to it. And my exaggerated Shein uh, black, very warm uh, turtleneck shirt the quality on this shirt for it to be shin is ridiculous i braided my hair guys i told you on the last video i was gonna try it see about it <laughs> before i actually take the time so i got like 10 braids in my hair just to see if i could braid it and then i put it up in this bun all right, so the next look is this blazer that I want to show off. I've shown it before. This is also, I also got this from Shein, and it was a blazer, but it was long. I got it cropped because I thought the look cropped was better. It made it look a little more expensive. The longer it was, the cheaper it looked to me. So I got it cropped. It's silver with all these beautiful colors in it. And it's that um, Chanel-esque look. And I wore that with my high-waisted uh, pink uh, wide leg pants that you've seen many times that I got from Zara. And a black body scissor. Cropping something, if you think, especially if you get something that's not expensive, crop something that you say oh it doesn't look so cute long but crop it and see if it looks cute that way and i really like it and i think it would look really cute with a pair of jeans and a bodysuit as well it cannot be anything over exaggerated with that because it's already exaggerated and it looks like holiday my next one is Oh man, I didn't bring, oh, the bag is what I highlighted. But my next one is this beautiful sequence. Come on, you know I'm going to have everything sequence. Beautiful sequence blouse that I purchased, uh, that I got thrifted, of course. And that sequence blouse is gorgeous. And it's made that it looks like a, um, it's cut. I think they call it, do they call it an oyster cut? When it goes down, I think that's what they call it. It goes like at an angle and comes up in the back and in the front. I should have so showcased that, dig on. But you're going to see that shirt again and me wearing it with something. Um, and then I paired it with my silver boots that I got from Shein as well. That then last me a couple of years and with some leather leggings and i really love this look guys i look slimmer in it i look uh, because of the way the shirt is made 
and then I got on the tights and I brung out the silver in the boot. This whole look is to me a 10 out of 10. It is my favorite look of this holiday of these holiday looks. Look here, the casual look. This look uh, is what I wore with the belt bag. I wore this end of the end of mm, end other stories. Uh, very beautiful cashmere look, but it's not cashmere hoodie in that salmon color that is just so gorgeous. And I paired it with a mini skirt. Uh, I thrifted this mini skirt. It is beautiful. I've had it for a couple of years. And then I put on that black belt bag and then my uh, black boots. This outfit is so casual, but still uh, the the, uh, the skirt brain makes the look more uh, festive and holiday. Comfortable. If you got a belly, perfect looks that you can't go wrong with. Okay, guys. Well, those are my looks. Tell me which ones you liked. And right now, don't forget my scripture. To listen to the scripture of the day. And it is called Greater Joy. You have given me greater joy than those who have a abundant harvest of grain and new wine. Psalm chapter 4 verse 7. What is it talking about? Well, just from that alone, it's talking about what brings you joy. So, you know, we're going to be used to all these gifts and stuff that everybody's exchanging. Some people give some, some people receive, some people get nothing, some people give nothing. Sometimes it's your time. And time is more valuable than any commodity. It's your peace of mind. I don't have to deal with the camaraderie, the craziness, the fakeness. Your peace of mind, worth more. So what brings greater joy than joy from our Lord and Savior? But let's talk about it. Comparison is something that we face daily. We are confronted every morning with people who have more or less than we do. We see cars on the road that are nicer than ours, people with great fashion sense, and those creative people who seem to make everything look nice. And this is coming from me. I am an, well, influencer, right? Influence is anyone who can influence. Yo, it could be your neighbor that influence you every day. You can see them and something they do every day influence something. And you never talk to them or speak to them or know them. But it's something about their aesthetic. It could be their rose garden. It could be influences anything that to me is a positive and you know you got to make sure it's a positive influence that is that influence you to either do better do more or do do it differently nothing more nothing less it shouldn't make your worthiness any less social media is filled with pictures of vacations celebrations and great achievements it's important in these times to anchor your self-worth in the joy that you have in Jesus. Get some perspective when you feel like everyone else is doing life better than you. Be happy for them, but overflow with joy for yourself because you are an heir of the king and nothing's greater than that. Thank you guys. And as always, no matter where you are in your transformation, you're still beautiful to me. Bye, guys.